This morning we are making some oatmeal and I am just sauteing some apples with cinnamon and some of that sugar-free maple syrup and I'm going to make some oats to go with it. All right, and this is breakfast. It's just some apples and cinnamon with some oatmeal. Okay, so today for lunch, we are gonna have a tuna salad sandwich. This is just some tuna salad that I made yesterday. Um, it's probably only about like maybe one or one and a half ounces of tuna and then just some honey crisp apple and then a pickle. And then I'm also going to have these Quest protein chips as well. It is Monday today and we are about to do arms and then we are going to head to the gym. Everything is finally thought out. We are able to drive. I might be crazy for wearing these shorts because it's really cold in here, but I do have my tiny heater over here going as well. So yeah, let's do this. Okay, so we did functional strength training today was arms and I actually upped the weights today for arms and I did 37 minutes and burned 131 active calories. And then I did the Stairmaster for 20 minutes and burned 188 active calories and I sat in the sauna for about 15 minutes. All right, guys, this is what we were having for dinner today. It's barbecue chicken or honey barbecue chicken and some protein pasta that I made. I kind of just took that recipe from that guy on TikTok. I think his name is like JSML Fit or something like that. And he does like a bunch of like TikTok recipes of like um, macro friendly meals. And I kind of just took inspiration from that and made this. But yeah, this is dinner. So in his recipe, he actually used just regular elbow noodles, but I substituted that for protein pasta noodles instead so I could up the protein on this meal, but yeah. Another day, another protein coffee. I really have been loving these lately, honestly. It's 9.17. Um, I've also been loving not like fasting in the mornings. So maybe that's something I'll keep doing. It actually has not, you know, harmed my weight loss in any way or anything like that. I haven't gained any weight. So I think I'll be doing this for a little while, honestly. So yeah, I'm just gonna pour some cinnamon dulce coffee into my cup and then pour this premier protein shake in there and that's gonna be my uh little protein coffee also i love how like legit my fridge doesn't decide to start making noises until i film a video just love that for me so i feel like i always end up with the perfect amount watch me say that and then like not end up with the perfect amount today i may have put too much ice Oh wait, no, still perfect. I don't know how, but I always end up with the most perfect amount. Like it's literally just enough to go into my cup. This is like my favorite iced coffee cup, honestly, because of that, it's just the perfect size. So my friend actually gave this to me at a uh, bachelorette party. So yeah, super cute cup. I love it. I use it like every day. <laughs> okay, I'm telling you guys that cinnamon dulce coffee with this freaking Premier Protein Shake. It is so, so good. Ugh, literally, you have to try this. I don't know if you guys like the cinnamon dulce coffee by Starbucks, but that is like, it's my all-time favorite coffee, honestly. I don't know what it is about it, but it is just so, so good. I love it black. I love it just in general. I mean, I basically drink my coffee black all the time, but when I add this Premier Protein Shake to it, just takes it to the next level. So good. Fuck. This is not how I wanted my morning to go. Not fun. All right, before I so rudely dropped what I was doing or knocked it off, I am going to do some eggs this morning with some cottage cheese. I used about one fourth cup of cottage cheese, one serving of this, which is three tablespoons, and that's five grams of protein, and then two large cage-free eggs. And I'm just going to blend this up in my blender to make sure it's really smooth, and then I'm going to add some spinach to my pan and just um, make that wilted, and then I'll add my eggs to it. But yeah. 
all right guys and this is what we have for breakfast slash lunch today got two pieces of dave's killer bread for toast and then some scrambled eggs and i added um egg whites to the eggs to make them go further and also add more protein without adding more fat and also added some cottage cheese as well to add even more protein and then i have just one chicken sausage link this is the monterey cheddar one by Greenwise. i do love these but yeah this is breakfast tons of protein all right i just made a little chai tea latte for a little pick-me-up Also, this is another one of those really big, um, oversized NFL jerseys that I got, this is Detroit Lions. It's just so nice and it's huge and it's just like perfect to work out in. So that's what I'm rocking with today. It's a leg day. Dinner. Once again, this has been really good by the way. So um, I will link what I used, everything that I used in this recipe and um, just in case anybody wants to make it. But yeah, I really did like how this turned out. It was easy to eat. Like so far it's been really good. Like I'm not gonna get tired of this, I don't think so. Yeah. Sorry, I just realized I never told you guys what I did for workouts today, but today was a legs. I did functional strength training for 39 minutes and burned 200 active calories. Really good workout today. And then I did the Stairmaster for 15 minutes and burned 141 active calories. This is a mad finisher after you do legs. Let me tell y'all, it was rough. Honestly, because of TikTok and like Instagram, I feel like Bella Swan every time it rains like this. Like I'm over playing that song in my head every single time that it rains. The one where she's like miserable because Edward left her. <laughs> that song. I'm literally, um, it's called Rosalind. That's the song. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Every time that it rains like this, I'm over playing that song in my head and I just feel like I'm in a movie. But let's chat okay so first of all forgive me for my hair obviously i did just wake up but um i thought i would come out here to chat with you guys um and have my coffee this morning it's about 8 a.m i feel like this week has been going really good so far i just want to mention next week on tuesday i have my in-body scan that i'm going to get done so i will get to find out if i need to be eating more calories and more protein or all of those things and if i have built some muscle if not I'm gonna be upset guys <laughs> but yeah i've been doing really good this week i feel like i was able to go up in weights on my um arms which is exciting because it's been a long time honestly since i was able to lift as much weight as i am right now so i'm getting back into that which is really nice and yeah i feel like this week has been going really good the dinners i made for this week are really good so yeah i will add you know that in the description I'll let you know everything that i used for it also so yeah it's a, a really uh, gloomy day today but uh yeah we have to do chess today so excited about that and then this weekend, I'm gonna be going to my mom's house on Saturday because um, it's her birthday this past week and we are gonna take her out to eat. But yeah, um, we are actually in the process of packing all of our stuff up because we are gonna be moving in about a month now. So that's exciting. I cannot wait to get out of this place, guys. But yeah, I will see you guys at my first meal. I'm just going to enjoy my coffee. All right, we are gonna make French toast this morning. So I'm gonna make some blueberry French toast. So I've just got some blueberries in here that I'm gonna saute with some water and then some of that blueberry, or not blueberry, um, some of that uh, sugar-free syrup just to sweeten them a little. And then I use one egg, one serving of these egg whites, also a dash of 2% milk 
and some vanilla extract. And then I am going to add some cinnamon in here and then I'm just going to dip two pieces of toast in here for some French toast. And then I'm gonna layer it kind of like I did the other day with the pancakes with the Greek yogurt. So yeah, let's make this. My God, this looks so freaking good. I made sure to get every single like ounce of the um, egg mixture onto both of the pieces of toast. So that way I could get the full, you know, nutrients or whatever and the macros. So it looks so good. Oh my God, my mouth is watering. But yeah, this is breakfast slash lunch, I guess. Probably just breakfast actually, because I'll probably have to eat again after this, but yeah. So I just got some Ultimate Paleo Protein Powder sent to me. I've never tried this before. Um, I had someone reach out about sending this to me. So I am going to try this today. I typically buy, I will say, I typically buy chocolate protein powders because I'm more of a chocolate girly, but honestly, um, I think maybe the one vanilla one that I did try, maybe I just didn't like it. And also the vanilla probably is gonna be a little bit easier to mix with like yogurt and stuff like that. So I think I'm gonna have a little vanilla protein shake today. I'm gonna add in a banana like I typically do. And then I'm probably going to add in some pb2 so it'll be like a banana protein smoothie peanut butter banana protein smoothie and we'll see how it tastes i'm gonna be completely honest because i have you know tried a lot of protein powders and a lot of them i don't like so i will be honest okay so i did just add some pb2 in here and then as well as a banana and some oat milk and let's try it and then also just put some cinnamon on top wow Okay, so my thoughts are that it's actually really, really good, um, which I'm really surprised about because it smelled funky, don't gonna lie, but it's obviously made from beef protein, so it is going to probably smell, but it tastes really good, actually. Like, I'll be really surprised. It's sweet with stevia, which I really like. I would be really interested to know how the chocolate one is, but this one is really good. Like, I just made a little vanilla smoothie. I used oat milk, too, which is not something I typically do in my smoothies, but I'm... Um, actually really liking it so uh yeah i'll be interested to see how this works in like baking and stuff like that but oh my god i bet you can make protein pancakes with these and they would probably slap but yeah um this is really really good so um i'll give that protein powder probably like an 8 out of 10 because the uh isopure one that i use of course i didn't blend this one with just with water to see how it is but the isopure one is okay but sometimes like when you blend it it gets a lot of air into it and this one does not have that same effect kind of reminds me of that vegan protein powder i used to use but yeah this one is pretty good So just wanted to note too, this protein powder actually has 22 grams of protein in it per two scoops. So that's a good bit compared to um, other proteins. Normally one serving is, you know, 100 or 100 calories and it has like 20 grams, but this one actually has 22. So that's pretty cool. Dinner, same as yesterday. It's been so good this week, honestly. All right, we are about to make one of my favorite 200 calorie snacks. So you just take a low carb tortilla and then you'll put two tablespoons of cream cheese and some everything bagel seasoning and then some deli meat of your choice. I'm gonna use some roasted turkey breast. Okay, so you're just gonna put your turkey breast down and then you're gonna roll it up, kind of like pinwheels. So then I roll it up like this and then cut it with scissors into about one inch pieces. Um, and then I preheat my air fryer to 400 degrees and then cook it for about eight to 10 minutes, maybe less. I think it might be maybe five to 10 minutes, but yeah. All right, and this is what they look like when you cut them and then you just stick them in the air fryer. Okay, so maybe only like three minutes in the air fryer, but yeah, this is what they look like when they're done. Obviously leave them in there to make them a little bit more crispy or some people fry them in a pan with oil, but I figured I would just do it quickly with the air fryer. So yeah, this is a little snack. So 
today I am going to make some chicken nuggets for lunch. I was trying to think of something that I could have that does not have freaking, or well, that's not eggs. I mean, this involves an egg, but it's not eggs. And that's low carb because I consumed a lot of carbs this week. And I feel like the only issue I have with eating like pasta for dinner is just that my overall carb intake for the day is just a lot more and I just don't know if my body loves that so uh, I feel super bloated today so I'm just gonna try to keep my carbs on the lower end other than dinner so yeah I'm also gonna try to make these differently today so I have this fat-free cheese that I have used in the past I've not ever used this to make this with before honestly so I'm not sure if it's gonna be too dry but then I was also like I wonder if anybody's ever used the laughing cow cheese to try to make these with so I'm probably gonna mix laughing cow cheese with this just because I don't know if this would work on its own but maybe if it does work with the laughing or with the shredded cheese then maybe next time I will try just using this because honestly if you could just use this to make chicken nuggets that would be a game changer and it would make these so much lower in calories and just you know overall um I've been struggling lately to get my fat in honestly which is something I never thought would be possible but fat is like usually higher in carbs and that's an issue that I've been having or not higher in carbs higher in calories so that's an issue I've been having is trying to stay in my calorie goal but also trying to hit my fat goal and or not hit it but at least be be over 40 grams of fat because if you eat too low fat your body like it can mess up your hormones and like all kinds of stuff so I've got to figure out a way to balance it out I'm not really sure what that's gonna entail but honestly I've got to figure something out because I was starving yesterday and I know it's because I did not hit that fat goal so I just got to get it up a little bit at least so that way I feel more satiated so um yeah so I just took some garlic powder and um no I didn't use onion powder garlic powder paprika cayenne pepper and then I'm gonna put salt and pepper in here and then I'm gonna add one egg and then I'm going to add I think I'm gonna add just one wedge of a slapping cow cheese and then also um I think it's like half a cup or one cup of this fat-free mozzarella cheese so we'll see how it works honestly if it turns out a little wonky then I'll know better for next time but yeah okay this is what they look like all pressed out I think they actually look pretty um promising so we'll see how it turns out um after I do this if they do turn out really well I think next time I may just use that laughing cow cheese and see what we end up with because literally if I'm the one that discovers this it's gonna be a game changer because like Everybody else always makes this with so much cheese and if the laughing cow cheese wedges are like a way to make these so low cow, like oh my god, it would be amazing. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna try this. Okay, so I'm gonna bake this in the air fryer for about 15 minutes on 400, probably flip halfway through and then they should be good to go. Okay, so these literally look so freaking good. I can't wait to do this again with just the laughing cow cheese because I almost feel like it it made it easier for them to stay together when I used it so I mean obviously I did still use cheese but it's fat ow that fucking hurt it's fat free cheese so I mean damn I'm just gonna keep burning myself it's fat free cheese so you know it's not as bad and then you know it's just not bad so I don't ever eat all of these in one sitting honestly um I feel like it's damn near impossible to eat that much protein in one sitting because these have so much protein and I'm literally that one cup of fat-free cheese had 36 grams of protein in it and that whole can of chicken i think has like over 40 or something i don't know it's a lot of protein so um typically what i would normally do is just start eating these and then whenever i can't eat any more or like i'm full or whatever i'll just only count what i ate if that makes sense but typically for the app i use i just kind of like create a recipe of the you know the, everything that i use and then just divide it by how many servings so basically you know if you eat half the recipe obviously you had one one serving of two servings so you know what i mean anyway but these do still have a lot of calories it's like 635 for all of these but at the end of the day if you were going to have this for one meal like this be your dinner or if you were eating like intermittent fasting it's a really good meal i mean it has no fiber in it but other than that 
it's good for you know if you're missing chicken nuggets and you want to eat out but you don't want to eat out because you're on trying to stay on plan all right this is our lunch for today i'll let you know how many i actually end up eating but who knows i could eat them all you never know but i did have some sugar-free barbecue sauce that i have on the side here but i'm just adding with these i try to find something that had more fat in it but i don't really have any honestly that has like any sauces or anything but um usually i would dip these in like ketchup or um the greek yogurt ranch that i make it's really good with they're really good with those so yeah we are gonna eat this okay so i had seven and i just ate four of them so i'm just gonna save these other three for tomorrow all right today for a little snack i'm gonna have some real peanut butter today um for the extra fat and then a built bar this is the brownie batter flavor these are really good and then one rice cake so yeah so I literally just take the built bar and then put it in pieces and then put some peanut butter on the top and then melt it in the microwave and it's literally like a freaking brownie. It's so good. Okay, so today is chest. Yesterday was a rest day. I don't know how I'm gonna get through this freaking workout today because my AirPods are dead. So I'm gonna have to listen to my audiobook on loud in my garage and then go into my actual apartment and get my air, uh, freaking beats before I leave, so super freaking annoyed, <laughs> but yeah. Okay, we did functional strength training for 27 minutes today and we burned 85 active calories. And we also did the elliptical for 20 minutes and we burned 192 active calories. So for breakfast slash lunch today, really it's like almost 12, but we're gonna have the rest of these chicken nuggies and some ketchup on the side. I'll probably find something else here in a little while as well because this really isn't much. That's a good thing I had this today too because I was kind of at a loss of what to make. <laughs> Running out of ideas over here. Okay, for a little bit of a lunch, I'm gonna have some, just like some wraps that I made just with some turkey breast and some lettuce and some laughing cow cheese and some mayo and then some quest protein chips on the side i'll be honest with you guys the funny thing about this dinner is it kind of reminds me of like applebee's mac and cheese with the chicken fingers in it it kind of tastes to the, like I mean, it's not even the same texture or anything, but it tastes kind of similar to that to me, honestly. It's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I, I definitely liked this recipe. I just don't think I would make it for dinner again for a while, honestly, just because of the carbs. I like to eat my carbs earlier in the day, and then with this, I can't really do that because I don't mind having low carb dinners. I just would rather eat more carbs like during the day so I can have other things, you know what I mean? If that makes sense, you get it, you get it. If you don't, then you don't, but yeah. Guys, that was everything that I ate this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.